Hey everyone, this is Kayla with All Pro Web Tools. In this video, I'm here to answer your frequently asked billing questions. First, I'm going to show you how to add, remove, and demo a web tool in your All Pro Web Tools account. To remove, add, and demo web tools in your account, you can hover over settings and click on web tools. You can view all of the installed web tools that you currently have here in your All Pro Web Tools account. If you scroll down here and click on add a new web tool, this is where you can either add a web tool or demo any available web tools for a one-time demo of the web tools that have available demo at no cost for 14 days. After 14 days, it will be automatically removed from your account and you won't be billed for the web tool. To add a web tool, you can simply press this green add button. You can also see a description of each web tool. If you have any questions on the web tools and they have a green text and a link, you can click on them and open them up and there's an explanation of the web tool right here. If you would like to remove a web tool, you can simply find the web tool that you want to remove and you can click this red trash icon. When you click the red trash icon next to the web tool, this will remove the web tool from your account, update your invoice for the upcoming month, and also show up in your web tool history. To get a copy of your email invoice, you can scroll up here and on the right hand side where it says send all pro web tools invoices to, you can type in here your email and click save. If you would like to view your invoices, you can scroll down to the billing history box underneath the send all pro web tools invoices to. You can choose which invoice you want to see by the date and then click the green eye icon to view the invoice. It will bring it up for you right here. If you would like to download an invoice, you can click the printer icon next to the date to print the invoice. If we scroll down underneath web tool history, here we can see what user added or removed a web tool as well as what web tool it was. Over here underneath the date, it tells you exactly what date and time that was either added or removed. To view how much you will be billed for the next month, you can scroll all the way down and above the add a new web tool button, you can see the total here in bold. It will tell you how much you will be billed for that month. And those are the answers to your frequently asked billing questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please go ahead and comment below or text us at our company number. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.